all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing something a little bit different uh instead of being in the garage working on something today we're going to be indoors working on this Roomba this is a uh, 600 series Roomba uh, it's about five years old it's been pretty good to us but uh, the battery is getting pretty weak on it so I went and bought a replacement unit direct from iRobot um, when it comes to batteries I want a genuine replacement unit I don't want to risk it with something aftermarket to save 50 bucks and then uh, there's an issue with the battery so I'm um, going to show you a quick uh, tutorial on how to change the battery uh, and what's entailed so first thing you're going to do is you're going to flip your unit over just like so and with a Phillips head screwdriver you're going to remove this three-headed brush off of its spindle we'll just set that to the side and then there's going to be four Phillips head screws that you're going to need to remove. You have one here, one here, one back here, and one over here. So with the same Phillips head screwdriver, you're just going to remove all four of those. Once you have those Phillips head screws loosened, you're just going to carefully pull up on this cover right here and remove it and set it off to the side. The screws will stay right in the cover, so leave them in there. So once you get it open, um, you're probably going to discover, like I just did, that it's pretty dirty in here. Makes sense, five years of vacuuming. Uh, there's a lot of lint and hair and stuff in here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get something to clean all this out with and uh, be right back. Okay, I've got everything vacuumed out now it's nice and clean so I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery and basically uh, the way you do that is you're going to grab these two black ribbons right here on either side of the battery and you know pull up on those kind of while pushing down with your other fingers on the unit there you go and now it's out uh, so there there's the old battery right there um, it's a little dirty in there too, so I'm going to go ahead and clean that out as well. Okay, so I've got the old battery here. I've got the new one here from iRobot. Um, they're both iRobot units. Um, but the difference is the new one, other than being a little bit different color green, um, is a larger capacity battery. battery. So the original one is an 1800 amp hour battery. Uh, the new one is a 3300 or 3300 uh, milliamp hour. Sorry, they're milliamp hour battery. So um, while the battery is physically the same size, they feel the same weight. This one has more capacity, meaning it, it, it's going to have a longer charge. We'll see if that equates into a longer runtime. It, it, it should. Um, this old battery was dying after about 30 minutes and if I remember right when we first bought the unit it would run for about an hour and a half uh, on a full charge so the new unit is identical um, so basically we're going to put it back in there's this little tab right here that lines up inside the machine and we're going to take it and we're going to push it all the way in okay it's seated and then assembly is just reverse of how we took it apart. So we will slowly start all our Phillips head screws. Make sure we get them all started. So they're all started now, so now we can start tightening them up. Don't go too tight. You just want to, until you feel resistance, and then snug it maybe another eighth, eighth turn. You don't want to break any plastic or anything like that. Um, the whole point of doing this is to save money, not break the unit, and have to buy a new one anyway. So there we go. Okay, we got all four Phillips heads, so now we're going to put our, our spindle brush back on. 
be careful that it is a plastic spindle. So what I do sometimes is I will turn the screw backwards until it finds its start. And then, then start forward. That way um, you reduce the chance of cross-threading it. Okay, it's in there. It's nice and snug. So that's it. That's how you change a battery in your Roomba. I'm sure it needs to be charged. Um, looks like it's dead. So we'll go get it on the charger and uh, see how she runs. So a quick follow-up. If you place your unit on the base and the clean light is flashing, the clean button in the center, that means it's downloading an update from iRobot and just let it do its thing and, and sit on the base and and uh, get its firmware update and then uh, you should be good to run. Okay, one little extra for those of you who stuck around. Here's the part number for the extended battery. This is for the 3300 milliamp hour battery uh, purchased directly from uh, iRobot. It was about 119 bucks and they included free shipping. Like and subscribe. Thanks.